So in the previous video I showed you have this private baton, kind of your own little locking object, but if you want to be risky and probably a little less professional, you can lock on this as well. I showed in the last video why that is bad. I'm actually going to put some timing in here. Lock this, be used, thread not sleep, and sleep for three seconds this time. Uh, go here, copy this, paste it here, drop a curly up there. Okay, so be used, flush the toilet, we're locking this. A thread can either be in here, or a thread can either be in here. Either one, all right, but not at the same time. So let's uh, new up a stall. Var stall gets new bathroom stall. And a new thread, stall.beuse.start. New thread, stall.flushthetoilet.start. Hopefully the flushing happens bef after the being used, but we're not promised any order in which these are going to start and which orders the locks are going to happen. Remember, they're like horses coming out of the gate at a horse rate. Dun, 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 dun. And whoever gets the lock first wins. Um, so let's run this, watch what happens. Doing our thing, okay, good, that's good. And then we flush the toilet three seconds later. Well, as I said in the previous video, this is, I think, personally bad choice. Make a private baton, but but if you do decide to do this, you know, we're gonna add lock this and curlies to pretty much every single uh, method that we add to our bathroom stall. So say our bathroom stall had 10 different methods, then I'm going to have to follow this pattern of uh, dropping these on every single method. Okay, well, there's a way to get .NET to help you do that natively. All right, let me just show you how to do that. Take that off. Again, it's not ideal to lock on this, but I'll show you. <coughs> you know, I always get scared because whenever I show my students uh, how to do bad things, they end up doing those bad things even though I tell them not to. Um, let's go here. I'm going to say method impl, I think it is, control dot using system.runtime.compiler services. I'm using an attribute. Hopefully you understand what these are. They don't really do anything. They just sit there and the compiler can look at them or we can look at them. If you don't understand attributes, please go watch the attribute programming videos. They're really not that complicated. Uh, I think I can say method impl options. Yeah, okay, method impl options. And this is in enumeration and I can pass, and the, a lot of these do different things, but I'm gonna say synchronized. Okay, and synchronize basically says, hey, don't allow multiple, uh, basically synchronize this method. Don't allow uh, more than one thread into this method at the same time. Same case here. Let's run it again. Watch the output. Doing our thing. Okay, and then we flush the toilet. I, don't, I really want to stress the what's going on here. I'm going to say, let's bump this up to five seconds. And five seconds. Okay, notice that. We're not fleshing. We're doing our thing. Okay? So, <clears throat> when I drop this method impl options on both of these uh, methods, it's not that the method by itself is synchronized. It's synchronized with everything else that we put method impl options on. Well, how does it do that? I'll show you how it does it. It's the same as saying lock this, just as I had before. In fact, to prove it to you, I'm going to take that out and say lock this. All right? Uh, okay, and then I'm going to run it again. You notice that uh, Flush the Toilet hasn't printed yet? Okay, so they're using the same synchronization object, which is this object, this instance of an object. If I add baton here, object baton gets new object, and then lock on baton. Well, now this method is locking on something different than this one is. Uh, it's independent. Here we go. Doing our thing flushing the toilet all at the same time. You know, maybe we'd want to wait to be done with our thing before we flush the toilet. Okay. So hopefully you can see how this attribute would be a little bit better than saying lock, 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 lock this, lock this, lock this, and every single method. I do feel it's unfortunate though. Let me get it back to how I had it here without this separate lock. So now these are considered thread safe within the object. Uh, I, I kind of wish I could have just said, hey, control C and put this up here, but it turns out this attribute is not allowed on class types. I can build this. It says, hey, it's not valid on, it's only valid on constructor and method declarations. So, if I could do that, put that up there, 
then uh, I wouldn't have to paste it on top of all my methods. But I, I, I think this is a little better than saying lock this, lock this, lock this. But of course, I wouldn't lock this, lock this anyway. So uh, I just spent five minutes, probably showed you something I shouldn't. Uh, it's up to you if you want to use it. One other thing to note with this method impl options, let me put them back on the individual methods. Um, if these methods are static, public static, uh, then there is no object to lock on. So instead, this this is even worse. It locks on the type object for the bathroom stall. So it's it's a lot to saying uh, it's, it's identical actually to saying a uh, lock type of uh, bathroom stall. Or actually, I could just say get type. I guess if, no, no, I can't. I can't because get type is an instance method. So lock type of bathroom stall. I mean, think of how many. I mean, this is really global. This bat lock, anybody, anywhere in any code could say lock type of bathroom stall. Now, would they know? Hopefully people wouldn't be, or my fellow programmers wouldn't be uh, shallow enough to lock on a type object, especially a completely unrelated type, but they could. It's completely public. I mean, I could say this anywhere I want to, right? So just to prove that, um, that this is the case, I'm actually going to take method impl off there, leave it here. They're now static, so I can't call them on an instance anymore. I have to say bathroom stall dot, and I don't even need to create my instance anymore. I think we should be good now. Yes, notice that they're synchronized. One's waiting for the other, and so they did lock on the type object instead. All right, 101 ways to shoot shoot yourself in the foot.